Lesson 11.5, Angles in Two-Dimensional Shapes. For those of you with a 2012 copyright, this is Lesson 11.4. When two sides of a shape meet, they form, that means they make, an angle. And we can find and count angles in two-dimensional shapes. A little arc shows us the angle. Here we have a triangle, and we have one, two, three little arcs. That means we have three angles. Here we have a quadrilateral. It has one, two, three, four little arcs. It has four angles. The arc is formed when two sides meet. So here's the angle, and we have a little arc showing that the angle is right inside here. So the little space that's made from the two sides meeting right in here, that's the angle. The actual point where the two sides meet is the vertex. We find where two sides meet and circle the angle. When we continue around the shape until every angle is circled, then we count them. Two sides are meeting here, we make a circle. This side and this side are meeting here, we make another circle. This side and this side are meeting here, we make another circle. We have one, two, three angles. We do the same thing. This side and this side are meeting right here, so that's one, two, three, four angles. So a triangle has three angles, and a quadrilateral has four angles. For two-dimensional shapes, the number of its sides, vertices, and angles will be the same. A triangle has three sides, three vertices, three angles. It's the same number, three. Since a two-dimensional shape has the same number of angles as its number of sides, the more sides it has, the more angles it will have. So without counting, which shape has more angles? Now think, if it's got more sides, it's got more angles. The pentagon has more sides, doesn't it? It has one, two, three, four, five sides, and a triangle only has one, two, three. So because a pentagon has five sides, which is more than the three sides on a triangle, we know it has five angles, where that only has three angles. So the pentagon has more angles. It has more sides. Make sure to count each angle only one time. Starting at the top and going in one direction can help. And it doesn't matter which direction we use to count, but keep going that direction all the way around. So if we start at the top, we can count how many angles this one has. We can start here and go one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six angles. We can go the other way as long as we keep going in the same direction once we start. One, two, three, four, five. This one has five angles. Remember, each side is a straight line. And remember, an angle is formed where two sides meet. Here it's telling us to draw more sides to make the shape write how many angles. We need to make a triangle. Do you remember how many sides a triangle has and how many angles it has? Well, a triangle has three sides, so it has three angles. We can give it three straight lines. It's already got one. We have one, two, three sides. And right here, we have one, two, three angles. We can do it for the hexagon. Do you remember how many sides a hexagon has? If you said six, you're right. It's already got one, two, three sides. We need to give it three more sides. 
we've got three, four, five, and that would be six. And we can count the angles on the hexagon. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon has six sides. It has six angles. This is telling us to draw a shape with eight angles. Now think, if it has eight angles, it will have eight sides. And we can draw any shape that has eight straight sides that forms eight angles. We can start here and go like this. That's one side. That's two sides. That's three sides. That's four sides. That's five sides. That's six sides. I'm not very straight here, am I? That's six sides. And we can do seven sides and eight sides. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. And we can check it and count the angles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles. We can draw any shape that has eight straight lines that forms eight angles. This is telling us to circle all the shapes that have seven angles. So we think to have seven angles, it must have seven sides. We can count the sides. This one has one, let's see, put a dot, one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Now, that means it's going to have six angles, so that's not one of them. Let's count this one. This is a very sh weird shape, isn't it? We can start counting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. That has seven sides. It must have seven angles. Let's count this one. Kind of looks like a rocket ship, doesn't it? We have one, and we have this little one here. That's two. We have this slanted one here. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's got nine sides. Let's try this one. It's got one, two, three, four, five sides. Now, let's try the star. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sides. That's not seven sides. Let's try this one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That has seven sides. It must have seven angles. Let's try this one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's got eight sides. So it's got eight angles. We're not going to circle that one. Let's try this one. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It does have seven sides. That means it must have seven angles. So it may not look like a regular shape to you. It could have a different or odd shape to it. But if it's got seven sides and all the sides meet each other to form angles, it's going to have seven angles. For two-dimensional shapes, the number of angles is going to be the number of vertices and sides. So for a real quick review, these are two-dimensional shapes. We have the shape name, triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon. We have the number of sides for that shape, the number of vertices for that shape, and the number of angles for that shape. And look, we have, for triangle, a 3, 3, 3. Quadrilateral is 4, 4, 4. 
pentagon is 555, hexagon is 666. The number of sides is going to be the same as the number of vertices, which is also going to be the same as the number of angles. And this is for two dimensional shapes. In our next lesson, 11.6, which will be 11.5 for those with the 2012 copyright, we're going to sort two dimensional shapes by their angles and sides. I hope you have a really wonderful day and I hope you'll join me for next time. Bye.